Good morning, everybody. 646 Monday morning. I have no idea what, what Richard is getting up to this morning, but I have a feeling it might be a little musical. Good morning. It is a little musical. It is International Music Day. Can you see that, Guillory? Beautiful. Look at that, eh? I believe that wood is uh, ebony. It is hand carved in Bali, and it's the uh, head of a guitar. Very special guitar. Okay. Um, it is a company that uh, was launched in July. It is called Blueberry Guitars. We're in Saint Laurent at uh, their workshop. We're going to talk to them about how uh, they make these incredible guitars. Uh, and look at the back. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, that's very intricate. It's beautiful. It takes about 40 Design days. Valley, okay. 40 days to make one. 40 days. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I know it sounds fast to me it too. Does sound fast. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> But they sound amazing, too. Uh, the company was started by Danny Fonfender. is named after his daughter, Blueberry. Uh, we're going to talk to him about uh, what his inspiration for this company was. But the guitars sound really nice. We're going to get a chance to hear some serious musicians play as well, so, who uh, came in from Toronto to uh, perform this morning, show you what the guitars can do. That is so I'm pretty looking impressive, forward to that. Richard. That's pretty nice. That's two chords. Hey, can you sing us out? Sing a little something. Come on. <laughs> I don't Come on. Hillary. Work on Stay it. tuned for the B side. Okay, sounds good. Okay. We'll check back. All right, time to take a short break. Uh, we'll check back with Richard, see if he can write something decent. In the meantime, we'll have sports coming up next. Good morning, everybody. 721. Richard Dashney, he's having a ball this morning celebrating International Music Day, one of his favorite things. Let's see how he's doing. Good morning. You said it, Guillory. One of my favorite things, International Music Day. This is Ira Quincy, who's here from Toronto. He's playing a Blueberry guitar. Uh, and Blueberry Guitars is a brand new Montreal company that uh, makes these spectacular sounding and fantastic looking hand carved guitars. We'll talk to the man behind the company and listen to more great music later on This Morning Live. Good morning. It is International Music Day. We are here in Saint Laurent at a company called Blueberry Guitar. And if you're scratching your head wondering why have I never heard of Blueberry Guitar, well, it's because it's a brand new company launched in July. Danny Fonfetter is the president and founder of the company. And as I understand it, you didn't really begin this whole venture with the idea of turning it into a company, but it has become a company. Sort of evolved into Blueberry Guitar Company. It just started as a little side trip from a regular business trip to uh, Hong Kong, and I took four days off off to see Bali and usually I would travel with my guitar but I left it in the Hong Kong hotel so I went into a little convenience store in Bali where they weren't really selling guitars they just had uh, some low-end guitars figured I could play it in my hotel and I couldn't find a single one that would even keep its tune and I was as I was in the taxi with the guitar that I'd bought there I started seeing all these uh, furniture shops and little statue shops and all these stores doing intricate carvings on wood and it akin it occurred to me that I could to make a guitar here that would be beautiful and would sound nice. Mm -hmm. So I asked my taxi driver to find the best uh, carving shop and I went in with the cheap guitar that I bought, showed it to the head carver, and here we are two and a half years later with the world's most beautiful guitars that sound gorgeous, but it uh, just sort of evolved. It wasn't a business plan that came up there. So these are the examples that you that they did for you. When I went to Bali the first time, I took that cheap guitar that I bought, took took a, took it to the head carver there, and I asked him to just go wild trying to build me something that looked like a guitar. And I came back two months later, and I had these beautiful carved things that looked like a guitar, as you can see here and here. Um, but from that point on, we had to figure out how to build guitars properly. And I uh, came back to Canada, started looking for a luthier that could uh, carve and teach them how to play guitars and make guitars properly. And uh, I found one in Vermont, actually. I didn't find one in Montreal. But there was a luthier called George Moritz. And he'd been teaching people to build guitars for 25 years. And I spoke with him about the idea about um, creating guitars and making good guitars in Bali. He loved it. He flew to Bali and took two years training the artisans and the carvers there to make guitars one at a time of the highest quality using the best woods. Wow. What's the most gratifying part about this, Danny? 
really the best thing is to be able to be in something where I can be around musicians and composers and hear beautiful music and the reward is seeing musicians loving the instrument and taking it as something personal and being around all this art and music that's what I really love but the challenges have been I mean I'm not daunting, but rather the humidity, for one thing, you were saying. Was well, the challenges were crazy. I had no idea getting <laughs> into it. I thought, like, most people would probably think that it's just a piece of wood that you carve in the shape of a guitar. But uh, right away, I was told that the humidity is going to ruin these guitars as soon as they got back to Canada, because we're totally different climate. So we had to figure out how to dry the wood in Bali for the right amount of time so that when they came here in the Canadian cold or North American cold, they wouldn't snap. The first guitars were snapping as soon as they got oh here. Gosh. But we had to build kiln drying for, for the wood and uh, they have to rest there for six weeks before they're ready to turn into a guitar. We solved that. The finishing, as you can see, we've got Oog working here on the guitar, but the finishing was an issue because regular guitars are not carved like this. So we had to figure out how to get the right finishing to go into the carving because uh, reg regularly you'd be just a polished finish. So that also took about six months to solve that. And by July, we were done. Uh, we have more to show you and more to let you hear. Stay with us uh, on This Morning Live. Right now, though, time for sports. Now we turn things back to Guillory. Thank you very much, Andrew. Good morning, everybody. 8.16, we're going to go back outside, see how Richard's doing. He's been smiling all morning, celebrating International Music Day with a little tune, a little medley. Let's see what he's singing up. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, a brand new Montreal company uh, launched uh, in July called Blueberry Guitars. Incredible instruments, incredible sounding, incredible looking. Uh, one of... Uh, uh, this morning live fans will recognize Paul Delore, of course. Uh, he is a fan of Blueberry Guitars. Hugues Lafaz, the luthier, who's working in the background there. And I'm with the director of operations, Mark Goldman, this morning. Mark, uh, pretty unbelievable project. Uh, can you believe how far that's, it's come? It's come a long way. We're very excited about it. We started a couple of years ago in development. And uh, as Danny mentioned earlier, it was an idea that he had. And it's, it's broadened into this, this wonderful project. And uh, everybody who looks at these guitars is quite stunned. We're, we're quite fascinated. Fascinated by, by what's going on here. And these artists, these carvers, are in Bali. And tell us a little bit about the work that they do. They're remarkable carvers. They're known around the world for their ability to carve. Wayne Tugas, who's our partner in Bali, has, and I've given you some examples here, I've brought you some examples, has created these marvelous masterpieces with these tools. These are really very extraordinary chisels that Wayne makes himself, and all the carvers make their own tools. Uh, much like a mechanic here, I guess, would have his own tools. And they're razor sharp, and they use these tools to carve into the variety of woods. We have a whole bunch of different woods. Uh, ebony, uh, maple, rosewood, uh, uh, mahogany. They're, they're very, very hard woods, uh, and these tools will carve right through them. And they use them basically either by pushing them in with their hands like this to get these intricate designs, or they'll use it with this hammer. And this is also something they've made themselves. And this hammer is made out of ebony, and it is rock hard, Richard. This is the hardest hammer you've ever seen, and this won't crack. So it's quite remarkable. They, they begin by, by drawing a design. This would be a rosette. It's uh, the circle that goes around uh, the whole center of the guitar. And they put the design down there and then begin with small tools and carve this out, either by pushing it by hand or, in fact, by hitting it with a hammer. And you start like this, and you end up with something like that. Forty days about to make a guitar from beginning to end. And uh, Danny was saying earlier that when you get the wood from there, you don't even know it's their inspiration. What they are inspired to do, you get. Exactly. And you might get two carvers carving the same idea, but they'll be totally different. The wood might be a little bit different. Each carver's technique will be a little bit different. So you'll get an eagle, or you'll get a rose, or you'll get a Celtic design, and there'll be something slightly different about it. The ears will be turned this way, the eyes will be turned that way. So it's really, uh, it's really a, a, a very special gift by the carvers. So no two guitars are alike. And now where can we find you guys? Not a lot of people know about you yet but that's that's changing you're heading to Anaheim soon yes we're gonna to go to Anaheim we're gonna to go to the music mess in Frankfurt as well we are starting to set up a dealer network in Canada and then we go to the United States there are a great many dealers who have expressed interest in, in uh, becoming involved with Blueberry why not I mean it's really a remarkable piece of art work of art plus their outstanding instruments so we're quite happy about that
Mark Goldman is director of operations for Blueberry Guitars. They have the website. It is blueberryguitars.com. Right now, I think that's one of the only ways that you can get yourself a guitar. But we've got more to show you later on as well. Uh, we're going to be uh, hearing some uh, performances from uh, Paul a little bit later. Want to say hi to uh, Danny's kids, Sabrina and Alana. And Blueberry, of course, his daughter, who the company is named after. Stay with us on This Morning Live.